Okay, so the Kohler uh, emergency light plan is done. Do a little walk around here. Show you what I've done. Got those, uh, first of all, I got those three batteries all hooked up in series for, uh, for the 32 volt crank. I remember before that I mentioned that these batteries sit at about 38 volts uh, when they're all uh, daisy chained up, which is good because I uh, measured the output voltage of the charger, which is built in here, and that's 38 volts. You can actually see the uh, step down transformer here, a couple of hammer transformer. Six volt. The primary is 115, but I'm feeding it about 120, 121. So well, we're about 38 volts there. Here's a rectifier there. Now uh, we're energized, just like we would be um, if there was normal power feeding whatever building this was installed in. We're at high charge, which, you know, interestingly, is only, geez, 0.21 amps. So, not really much, but I guess for a, an emergency plant, which sits idle 90% you know, of the time, you've got plenty of time to charge your batteries. Unfortunately, the voltmeter didn't come to life. It's just, uh, I just put it back. The ammeter does work, though, which is, which is, uh, which is nice. couple things in the panel. Uh, this contactor is the cranking contactor. And, uh, just uh, back feeds the uh, field and it cranks the uh, generator that way. This one here is the uh, output. I guess you can call it the output contactor. It closes when the generator is up to uh, full RPM or it's producing um, you know, around 110, 120 volts, closes. Um, this here, this, this relay, is, uh, acts like, kind of like a transfer switch, like you'd expect on a, any modern day emergency generator setup. You've got, uh, these leads here, which are connected back there to each other. One pole down there, and the other up here. Right now, with normal power, so about the wind. Normal power feeding. That buzz you hear is the coil holding this side of the contact closed. Now, this bulb here represents normal power. Normal power comes in through the contactor and out to this bulb. Now when you lose normal power, the coil, uh, the coil de-energizes and the spring uh, rocks this whole contactor back over and touches this, uh, this contact down here, which is the generator output. So, now, what I'm saying here is that there's really two outputs to this generator. There's the output that would normally be run off of the input, if you follow that, and then there's an emergency output, which I've connected these two lights to. You can see with the generator not running, we have nothing out of these lights. But we do have um, uh, power out of this uh, contactor here, or this transfer switch, if you, if you want to say that. Let's see, um, I think L4. Yeah, L4 is that power coming to the light bulb here, and then L3 is the emergency, and they share L2 as a neutral. 
so let's uh, run through the operation here. I'll step down and uh, show you how it works. Okay, what I'm going to do here is disconnect normal power. Sure, represented by this light bulb here. The output power will cut out momentarily until the generator starts. Then it will come back on. That transfer switch will flip over and the output will be diverted to this bulb. So, uh, do that now. Let it warm up for a minute, and I'll turn the uh, these two halogen lights on and uh, give it a little bit of a load. Those halogen lights equal up to a thousand watt load. I mean, it's a 1500 watt light plant. I couldn't find 500 watt watts worth of load, so uh, we'll carry them on. Takes that bit of a load really nice. I'll uh, I'll shut the halogens off and uh, I'll let you listen to the uh, governor. Started this generator up. You probably noticed the uh, one light bulb kind of flickering from dim to bright. It might have been pretty hard to notice. But you might have. And that's actually this relay opening and closing right here. Not quite sure why it does that. Like I said, that one activates when you go to crank the engine. So it must have something to do with the field. Not exactly sure what, as I don't have a wiring diagram. But as soon as, um, well, as soon as you put a good load on it, or you let it warm up, it'll stop that. And uh, just go to normal.
waste no time uh, coming up to full temperature when it's under a load. Got the choke all the way open. about getting normal power back on. Give her a minute to cool down. Now, I'm just doing this because I think it's good to let them cool down, but really when the power comes back on, it just drops that emergency load. That's the generator down, I'll show you. And we're sitting back ready to go again.